it. So I've been dodging getting sick for the last month or so here in Africa. Every single person I'm around has been getting sick. So finally caught up to me here in Kunsi. And so I've been sick for the last, I don't know, three or four days. Uh, so what I usually do after I get done being sick is I just wash everything. Wash my sheets, wash all my clothes. Uh, doing laundry in Africa is a little different than what you're probably used to uh, if you're in the States or anywhere you have uh, a washing machine. It's an all day thing. So you fill up the bathtub and you put your clothes in it. You have to scrub it. You have to drain the bathtub, then fill it back up with clean water, rinse it all off, hang it on the line, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And uh, I'll just show you a little bit of how I do it. Uh, here's Caitlin. Hi. You didn't see her, but you're here. This is the washing machine. Well, no, I'm the washing machine. Now I know that hang drying your clothes isn't really a new thing, so I didn't want to bother with showing you that. But this is basically, every article of clothing that I own, uh, it's weird to look at it all, or how very little of it there is. Obviously apart from what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, Arsenal. Uh, yeah, so we just wait. Um, I think I've decided that I'm gonna do a little series. Uh, I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, a day in the life or what it's like to be a nomad or something like that because there's a lot of things that, that, that I have to do that I'm not used to doing that a lot of you don't do. Uh, for instance, hand washing your clothes, uh, going to get water every single day. Uh, having to boil your water, uh, not having electricity, um, having to ride on a sh hot, stinky bus for six hours just to go a couple hundred kilometers. Um, those kinds of things. Uh, this channel's not really meant to be, look at me, look how cool I am, look at all these amazing uh, waterfalls and things. Uh, although I do realize that's what I've been showing and that's what a lot of people want to see, but that's not necessarily what I want to show. I want to show what it's like to live other places. I want to show what it's like to do things differently than how we do them. And I say we by, and I mean, you know, like Westerners or, or first world or whatever you want to call it. Um, not just Americans, but you know, there's people all around the world who don't have to wash their clothes by hands and and even take people like Caitlin who is from the United States and she's a Peace Corps volunteer and she has to hand wash her clothes because there's not a washing machine. Is there even a washing machine in this whole village? I don't know. Probably not. I mean not. unless you're super wealthy. I'm a washing machine. <laughs> You're a washing I'm machine. I'm a washing machine. This, this one's a washing machine. This little thing here is a pooping machine. Aren't you? Little. <laughs> he doesn't even care. That's Rocky, by the way. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start a little series um, apart from because I really want to do a daily vlog, but I, it's, I'm in I'm in uh, countries that don't have like very reliable internet for example Botswana yesterday it took me it took me almost 36 hours to upload a 10 minute video it's a nightmare so I can't really do a daily a daily vlog because it just wouldn't be it wouldn't be honest because I would have to I would have to do like seven different vlogs and then and then schedule to post them. You know what I mean? It wouldn't it wouldn't be real. 
also I, I would be weeks where I wouldn't even have internet so I couldn't even upload anything so I would be too far behind and it would be a nightmare and it wouldn't be any fun for me and the whole idea of this is for me to have fun as well as educate so I think I'm gonna do this little series so it's like you'll get kind of a I'll still be doing my other videos that show all the cool things and all the sights and uh, all the amazing things I get to see and do but I also want to interject those with some more serious and real life kind of experiences that I have um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching um, leave some comments below if you want um, tell me some of your uh, stories of your traveling or whatever and um, cool let's get weird ah! Legacy that lives beyond Bobby